James chapter 9, verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord Yahweh our power to walk in his Lord, walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, all Israel have transgressed our law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned against him. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. All right. Brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, brakatai hawa, brakatai hawa shai, ko halala, yahawa bashim hawa shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless yahawa, bless yahawa shai. All praises to the Father yahawa in the name of the Son yahawa shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Ward from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, what you see before you is um, a, it's a license, all right, which was um, established for the state of Missouri. It says nigger hunting license. All right. It says state of Missouri nigger hunting license. All right. Now we know what this is. This is OK. The time of when we was in hard bonded slavery. OK. And the time where Jake, you know, lost, you know, the inheritance, lost who we were as a people. And we were being raised up to be what? Niggas. All right. We was being uh, doctrinated. You know, we was also stripped from any history that we, we, we had, you know, of our nation as a people. We were brought over here on cargo slave ships. All right. And uh, Esau Edom, which today goes by calling himself a European or so-called white man. All right. At this time, which is not too long ago, they had nigger hunting license, man. All right. And this is just more proof that this so-called white man is Esau Edom that the Bible speaks of. All right. And um, at the top, it says they have a license to hunt us, yet we are killing each other. So this is a post probably from Facebook, somebody snapshot, but it was sent to me. And um, I'm just here to do a show on it and bring light to it. All right. And um, the scriptures say you reap what you sow. All right. So I'm going to get that first scripture because I have a few precepts lined up. So let's go into there. This is uh, Galatians chapter six. And uh, seven, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So, you know, the Lord is not mocked. You can't make mockery of the heavenly father. And it says, for whatsoever a man soweth, you know, whatever he put his hands to and plow, that shall he also reap. Okay, so when you sow, you reap what you sow. And that, that applies to you Edomites. All right, you put us in slavery, you hunted us, as you can see. This is official, uh, state of Missouri, nigger, nigger, not nigger, nigger hunting license. All right, so, you know, they try to say uh, that the so-called Negroes, you know, volunteered to be slaves. That is a lie, okay? We were dragged. The so-called Negroes and Hispanics were, were dragged. And let me say the West Indians and so-called Asians, they were dragged from the West Coast of Africa on cargo slave ships. All right. So let me continue that, you know, because Esau is trying to rewrite history and hide the fact of, um, 
what he done to the children of Israel. Well, I should say the sons and daughters of Israel. This is verse eight. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And this is why it's very important for us uh, men, starting with the men and you women and a few young young men and you know young young girls to follow after Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and sow you know toward the Holy Spirit. So sow toward your spirit, you know, being in the Holy Spirit. All right, which is the Rakah Kodash. So it says, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. So what is that Spirit? That Spirit is the Rakah Kodash, the Holy Spirit. All right, which is uh, receiving the knowledge. Uh, wisdom and understanding, you know, of these times, because as it is written, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of these times. Now, verse nine, it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. And what are we going to reap? We're going to reap, uh, we're going to reap the resources, which were stolen from us, from our enemies, man. Okay. Esau, you reap what you sow. And it's coming to the to down the pipe into that line is drawn, which when Edris uh, asked the Lord, what shall be the part and asunder of the times? And the Lord told him when Jacob and Esau were born, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, which symbolically means that Jacob is going to take Esau out of power. And we know how. And that's through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right, it's written in Daniel's, I believe, the seventh chapter, that it says the saints shall take the kingdom. All right, and that's going to be by force, by the way of Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds, man. All right, so you reap what you sow, Edom. You know, don't cry now. You know, you had nigger hunting license on us. All right, so let me get another scripture, which is, uh, let me see here. Revelations chapter 13 and 9. Now it says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. All right. So meaning uh, any man that understand, let you understand what, what, what he's about to say. May you have the understanding, right? Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Why is it patience? And why is it of the faith of the saints? Now the saints are the Israelites. The question is why? Because the saints are right now in captivity looking to persevere, you know, through the hell that they have gone through. And really, the saints is, is the Israelites, but in particular, the elect. All right. Because right now, the men of the Lord are crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right. So it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So Esau, you led us into captivity. You brought us over here in cargo slave ships. All right. And you indoctrinated us with your plantation slavery doctrine which they still carry on today. If you are Baptist, if you went to Jehovah's wickedness, if you went to the being a Pentecost, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, you in Christianity, you in Catholic, you know, all of those things were due, I mean, were pushed upon us from slavery, man. You know, whatever your slave master was, that's what you was. But instead, you know, you're supposed to be learning this truth. So anyway, it says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So there's no shadow of a doubt that you Edomites, you're going to go into captivity. Okay. It says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Now, is that for us to pick up arms and go fight this devil with guns and bullets and machetes and knives? No, the Lord is going to do that. Okay. Yahweh Shai is going to make things right when he take the crowns of the kings, man. Okay. When he come back symbolically on the white horse, as is written of the four horsemen, he's the white horse. He's the one that rideth upon the white horse. It says, here is the patience of the faith of the saints. Okay. Now that patience means 
we understand to go into suffering, man. Here is the suffering and the faith of the elect. All right, so let's get the next scripture. Um, show you that again. This is uh, let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 25, and I believe it started at 10 or 12. Uh, start at start at 12. It says Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom, uh oh, have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. You know, that's what you've done. It really, it all goes back of the hatred that Edom has for Jacob, okay? That has for the sons of Jacob, all right? Starting with the top tribe of Judah is the birthright that Jacob supplanted his brother Esau, his bigger brother Esau. That's really where it comes down to. So since that you have, um, it says, dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, all right, we see your vengeance every day. Esau has a perpetual hatred for the Israelites, right? And he taketh vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Tebman and day of Dedan shall fall by the sword. So guess what? You're going to drink of that cup, okay? You're going to drink of that cup, which is the Lord's wrath, Lord's vengeance, because you, you Edomites, have taken vengeance against his people. Let me read that again. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and will make it desolate from Teman and day of Dedan, shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh. All right, so you reap what you sow. All right, you hunted us. All right, you had nigger hunting license on us. Well, guess what? The Lord is gonna put his anger upon his men when that time come, all right, when he raised them up and they're going to hunt you, you're going to be the ones running away from Yahweh Shai, going into Mount Carmel, hiding in the rocks, wishing the rocks would fall upon you. OK, you're going to go in the depths of the sea. You're going to try to hover up out of space and try to hide. You're going to be hunted. All right. You hunted the Israelites. The Lord is going to hunt you. All right. And this is all Bible talk. All right. So since I read that, let's get uh Jeremiah 16. All right. Let's see. Ya. Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, um, yeah, it says, Behold, I will send for many fishes, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and they shall fish them, and they after shall send. And after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right. So the Lord said, behold, I will send forth many fishes and they shall fish them. So the Lord has fishes and who are the fishes? The prophets. All right. This is this is actually a promise to the prophets for putting in that work, man. You know, standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, giving their bodies as a living sacrifice, you know, uh, enduring all the way to the end. That what? He, the Lord said he would send for many fishes, which is men who's going to fish out men. OK, or let's say uh, those of the elect. All right. They're going to be fishes of men. All right. Which is potent, which is uh, the whole for elect. And it says, and after will I send for many hunters and they shall hunt them. From every mountain, meaning from what? Every government, man. Every every established government in this earth. When the Lord cracked those clouds, all right? Well, let's say when the Lord delivered the elect and when the Lord 
give those new bodies to his men. Okay. When the Lord have to clean this earth as it's going into the Valley of Hammer God, when we have to, you know, uh, bury all of the weapons and things of that nature and cleanse, to help finish off the cleanse of this earth, you know, after the thermonuclear destruction, the Lord is going to make his men into terminators. They're going to be hunting you, Esau. They're going to be hunting you, Moab, Japheth, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, Ammon, Ham, uh, uh, Cush, you know, uh, 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 Ishmael. All right. He said, and after will I send for many hunters. All right. You, you, didn't you hunt us? Okay. State of Missouri, nigger hunting license. This was legal, my man. They had a license to hunt your ass. Okay. This is where they established the police, man. You know, police, you know, what, uh, what you call them, taskmasters, man, I believe. And, um, you know, they were hunt down any runaway slaves that wanted to get off the plantation. You know, you know, they had bounty hunters back then. So they had nigger hunting license. This was a license to hunt niggers, <laughs> you know, straight up. And this says it right here, man. Nigger hunting license, man. And Esau won't tell you about these uh, things they had because they're ashamed of it, you know. But anyway, the Lord, uh, as it says in Wisdom of Solomon, he have made them to reprove your thoughts, you know, because it's all coming back up in your face. It says, and they shall fish them. And after they shall send, I will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So that means that Edom and you other nations, you're going to hide. You're going to be hiding and you're going to be hunted. So guess what? You reap what you sow. All right. You had a license to hunt. The Most High is going to give his men the license to hunt when that time come. All right. So let's get the next one. And this might be my final one. All right. Well, let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 14 and uh, 21. Now it says, uh, prepare, uh, let's see. Okay, it's 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. For I will rise up against them, say of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord Yahweh. And I will also make it a possession for the, the bittering and the pools of water. And I will sweep it with the bosom of destruction, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. All right. So the point is there where it says 21, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of their fathers. Did not we suffer our iniquities of our forefathers? The reason why we in this condition and why Esau is ruling, because first off is prophecy. Number two is because we as Israelites on the whole, we sinned against our heavenly father and the most high as it was prophesied in 70 AD. I mean, well, of 70 AD through Yahweh Shai that we were going to uh, disperse through the four corners of the earth, man. So it's only right. All right. You know, it says prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers. So because of Esau, you know, you reap the benefits of your forefathers. You know, you're going to also reap the, the, uh, the, the iniquities, the sins of your forefathers as well. All right. It says that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. And that's why Esau right now is on the agenda. He's, I mean, well, his agenda is to um, stop prophecy, man. But um, I want to get this real quick. This is Job twelve, uh, and um, I am in the wrong chapter. Let me go to five, Job five, and uh. And verse 12, because Esau's agenda is to stop prophecy, but the Lord has something for you. He's going to stop what you're trying to stop, right? Because it's only right 
and it's written. The Lord spoke the beginning. Uh, he spoke the end from the very beginning. All right. And he's given Esau his blessing. The blessing that Esau received. All right. Was the fatness of the earth and to live by the sword. And right now we're living throughout Esau's blessing. But guess what? Jacob's blessing comes next because Jacob, Jacob, all right, blessing was greater. Okay. Now it says, uh, Job 5 and 12, uh, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And this is why, you know, they have control over, uh, damn near everything that goes on, you know, and they play, they, they push out certain things so that they can control it, you know. And their main goal is to depopulate and also to microchip, you know, which is the mark of the beast. But the Lord said he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So you're going to be interrupted. All right. It says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. All right. It says they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor. From the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. Because right now Esau is the mighty. All right. And um, that's basically it. I'm not going to keep trying to squeeze uh, scriptures in there. I hope this lesson was edifying. All right. This was a, 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 a picture sent to me. And um, check it out, man. State of Missouri, nigga hunting license, man. All right, so they we know that they hunting us, but this is just you know here it is in your face. These are the this is the the license that was uh, approved for eat Edom, you know, and to hunting straight up Israelites, man. All right, you so called Negroes, man. You are uh, you are uh, uh, so called Native uh, Seminole Indians. All right, you West Indians, you Haitians, okay. You Hispanics, man. You're all Israelites. You know, Esau, is, you know, he got a license to hunt you. They even got a license today. It's still, it's, this shit still goes on, man. So anyway, with that, hope you were edified. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.